Join Sasha's quest to save her neighborhood and discover powerful new words along the way. Let's learn English with Sasha's secret superpower. So, let's embark on our today's narrative journey. Sasha was a shy girl who always stayed in the background. She loved animals more than anything and spent most of her time in the park watching squirrels, birds, and stray cats. One sunny afternoon, while sitting under a majestic oak tree, Sasha heard a faint whisper. She looked around, but saw no one. The whisper came again, clearer this time. Please, help us. Startled, Sasha realized the voice was coming from a squirrel perched on a low branch. Can you understand me? asked the squirrel. Sasha nodded, wide-eyed. She had discovered her secret superpower, the ability to comprehend and talk to animals. The animals quickly gathered around her, each one sharing their troubles. The birds complained about the polluted air, making it hard to breathe. The fish in the nearby pond were struggling because of the litter. The stray cats couldn't find food because the trash cans were overflowing. Sasha listened carefully and decided she needed to do something. She couldn't let her new friends suffer. That evening, Sasha thought about how she could help. She came up with a plan. She would rally her classmates to help clean up the neighborhood. But Sasha was shy, and the thought of speaking in front of her class made her nervous. She took a deep breath and decided to take action despite her fears. The next day at school, during lunch, Sasha stood up and addressed her classmates. Hi, everyone. I know, we all love our neighborhood, but it's getting really dirty. The animals are suffering because of the pollution. I think we should do something about it. She explained her plan to organize a neighborhood cleanup. To her surprise, her classmates were excited about the idea. Together, they divided up the tasks. Some would bring trash bags, others gloves, and a few would make signs to raise awareness. Sasha was thrilled to see her classmates' enthusiasm. They set the date for the cleanup and spread the word. On the day of the cleanup, Sasha and her classmates gathered at the park. They were joined by parents, teachers, and even some neighbors who had heard about the event. Everyone worked hard, picking up trash, recycling, and even planting new trees and flowers. Sasha used her ability to communicate with the animals to guide the group to the most affected areas. The cleanup was a huge success. The neighborhood looked pristine and the animals were grateful. The birds sang cheerful songs and the squirrels and cats played joyfully. Sasha's classmates were proud of their hard work and felt a new sense of responsibility towards their environment. Sasha realized that her shyness had held her back, but her love for the animals had given her the courage to speak up. She had learned that everyone has a unique strength, and when used to help others, it can make a big difference. The experience taught her that sometimes, stepping out of your comfort zone and working together can lead to amazing results. From then on, Sasha continued to use her superpower to keep the neighborhood clean and safe for the animals. She also inspired her friends to look for their own strengths and use them for good. The neighborhood became a cleaner, happier place, and Sasha knew that even the smallest voice could have a powerful impact when speaking up for what is right. Congratulations on completing Sasha's secret superpower! Your dedication to learning English is impressive! Let's revisit the keywords and phrases from our story to help them stick. A quick refresher to boost your English skills. Number 1. Majestic, having impressive beauty or dignity. Number 2. Superpower, an exceptional ability or talent. Number 3. Comprehend, to understand something. Number 4. Gathered, 
come together, assemble. Number five, came up with, to think of or develop something. Number six, rally, come together for a common purpose. Number seven, take action, to do something, especially to solve a problem. Number eight, addressed, to speak to a group of people. Number nine, divided up, to separate into parts. Number 10, enthusiasm, intense and eager enjoyment or interest. Number 11, pristine, in its original condition, unspoiled. Number 12, responsibility, the state or fact of being accountable. Number 13, comfort zone, a situation where one feels safe or at ease. Number 14, unique, being the only one of its kind. Number 15, strength, a good or beneficial quality or attribute. Number 16, thrilled, extremely pleased and excited. Number 17, overflowing, to be so full that the contents go over the sides. Number 18, suffer, to experience something bad or unpleasant. Number 19, polluted, contaminated with harmful substances. Number 20, majestic, having great beauty or grandeur. Number 21, responsibility, the state of being accountable or to blame for something. Number 22, Inspire, to fill someone with the urge or ability to do something. Number 23, enthusiastic, having or showing intense and eager enjoyment. Number 24, encouraged, give support, confidence, or hope to someone. Number 25, thriving, to grow or develop well or vigorously. Number 26, organize, arrange or put in order. Number 27, recycle, convert waste into reusable material. Number 28, awareness, knowledge or perception of a situation or fact. Number 29, affected, influenced or touched by an external factor. Number 30, nervous, easily agitated or alarmed. Number 31, communicate, share or exchange information. Number 32, grateful, feeling or showing an appreciation. Number 33, courage, the ability to do something that frightens one. Number 34, unique being the only one of its kind. Number 35, step out, to leave a place, usually for a short time. Number 36, look for, to search for something. Number 37, speak up, to express one's opinion or to defend oneself. Number 38, come up with, to think of an idea. Number 39, thrive, to grow or develop well. Number 40, responsibility, being accountable or to blame. Number 41, inspire, to fill with the urge to do something. If you learned some new words or laughed along the way, smash that like button. And for more stories that will help you rock your English skills, don't forget to subscribe. Check out the video on screen for more fun ways to learn English. See you next time.